Hi, second grade, it's Mrs. Grandy, and today we're gonna to be working on lesson 13-3, continuing to find unknown measurements. As you can see, we have the book pulled up, and in this section, we're gonna learn how to use a, a number line, okay? And we're, we can use a number line to count on. And if we look at this first question, it says a string is 28 centimeters long. Alex cuts off a piece of the string, and now it is 16 centimeters long. How long is the piece of string Alex cut off? So what we have to do, because it started out as 28 centimeters. It started out as 28 centimeters. And it ended up at 16. So we know we have to subtract. So on this number line, we start at 28 and we count backwards. 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23. 22, 21, 20, 19, 18. That's 10. And then we have to go back two more to 16. Okay. So we're counting backwards. So that's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 12. So the missing number is 12. If you look, they have the number 12 written. 28 minus 12 is 16. If you want to check your work, you start to add. So you take 16, you start at 16, you need to get to 28. We're saying that between 16 and 28 is 12. So we're gonna add those. We're gonna go to here, which is to 20, which is four. And then from 20 to 28 is eight more, and that is 12. So Alex cut off 12 centimeters of string. In number one, a plant was 15 inches tall. It grew and is now 22 inches tall. How many inches did the plant grow? The word grow means it got bigger. It started at 15 and it ended up at 22. So on our number line, we start at the number 15. We need to get to the number 22. Let's count 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, that is five. Then we need to get to 22, five, six, seven. So that is seven more inches. So our equation is going to be 15 plus seven equals 22. Now let's try this with number two. Each bus is 10 meters long. Each boat is seven meters long. What is the total length of two buses and two boats? Now, we can add 10 plus 10 to find the buses, which is adding doubles. Do we know how much 10 plus 10 is? Right, it's 20. Now, for the boats, we're going to add doubles again. 7 plus 7. And we know that 7 plus 7 equals, right, 14. So in order for us to write an equation, we need to write... 10 plus 10 plus 7 plus 7 equals what? So 20 plus 14 equals what? Let's give ourselves a little bit more room. As I told you before, we need to try to keep everything organized. So we have 20 plus 14, right? It's the numbers that we remembered. 20 
plus 14 equals what? Zero plus four is four. Two plus one equals three for an answer of 34 meters. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the next page. Brent's rope is 49 inches long. He cuts off some of the rope and now it is 37 inches long. How much rope did Brent cut off? So we're going from something that's 49 to 37. So it's getting smaller. We're going to have our number 49 and 37. Now, let's put some other numbers on here. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, to move my 49, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Whoops, couldn't squeeze that one in there. Let me try to do this a little bit neater. I put too much space in between. That's the problem sometimes, guys, whenever you're doing a number line. So let's try this again. All right, 37, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38. There we go. Mrs. Grandy got it. So from 37 to 49, let's count. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. He cut off 12 inches of rope. So in order to do this, we need to do 49 minus what equals 37. We know that the answer is what, boys and girls? Right, 12 inches. Sue ran for some meters and stopped. Then she ran another 22 meters for a total of 61 meters in all. How many meters did she run at first? So our missing number is the first number. So then that's plus 22 equals 61. So what plus 22 equals 61? Now I'm gonna do this one. So here we have 22 and here we have 61. We're gonna put 32 here, 42 here, 52 here. We will count by tens. 10, 20, 30. Now we need to get from 52 to 61. So 52, 
to 61. It's not 10. It would be 10 if it was 62, but it is not. So in order for us to figure out what it's going to be, we need to count up from 52. So 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. What do we have? Exactly, we have nine. So we need to add 10 plus 10 plus 10. So 10, 20, 30 plus nine equals, that's right, 39 meters. So at first she ran 39 meters, then she ran 22 more meters for a total of 61 meters in all. Now, this is using symbols to solve equations. In our chart, each symbol is worth a certain number. So if we look here, how much is a circle worth? Right, it's worth 12. And a star? Good, 39. 12 plus 39. 2 plus 9, 9, 10, 11. Put your 1 in the 1's place, carry the other 10. 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 1 more is 5, for an answer of 51. Now, we have a square. That is worth 57. And the star is worth 39. What we can do is subtract 57 minus 39. Or we could use our, our number strip again. If we're going to do that, we need a little bit more room. We need a little more room here. Okay. Here's 57. Here's 39. We're going to put 47. And then we're going to put 37. We're subtracting by how many? Right, 10. Each from 57 to 47 is 10. From 47 to 37 is 10. Now, how much is 39 minus 37? 37, 38, 39, two. 10 plus 10 is 20, plus two is very good. The answer is 22. Now for this one, we have 39. I'm going to erase again. We're going to put our answers in this so that we have them. Okay. We have 51 and 22. And now for this one, the numbers are 39, 42, and 12. So what I like to do whenever I have three numbers like that is I'll add two of them first. Okay. So let's start adding the 42 and the 12. All right. 42 plus 12. 2 plus 2 is 4, and 4 plus 1 is 5. So we have 54. Now we have to take the 54, and we're going to add 39. 4 plus 9 is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Our three goes in the ones place. We carry the 10. 
five plus three is eight, plus one is nine. Our answer to this problem is 93. Okay, now the next section is the homework section. And it's starting out the same way that we started this lesson. So in this lesson, we learned to continue to find unknown measurements. I hope that this um, clarifies some things for all of you. And the next lesson, we're gonna still continue to do some measurement and we'll just be moving right along. I'll see you soon, second grade.